Down from three. This is Perla Shaheen, and you're watching Cal TV Off Scripts, where reporters tell behind the scenes stories from the field. I'm here with Tomas, Michelle, and Laylee. And Tomas, so I know you recently spoke with the community, the former community of development chair, um, Jacqueline Bueno, about lacking diversity in the Greek system. Can you tell me about your interview and um, what this video meant to you? Right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Perla. And thank you for joining us for our last segment of the semester. And yes, that's the story I did. One of my last stories for the spring semester, speaking, as you said, to Jacqueline Bueno, who is a part of Sigma Kappa. And she went to the story was centered around a presentation she gave at a national conference, which had over 40 organizations and four Greek councils there. And the crux of the matter is that there is a striking lack of diversity in the Greek system. Uh, Jacqueline Bueno herself is a sister and as you know held an official official position on the Panhellenic Council and what she brought to light was how we're able to first discuss these issues and then move forward with specific action items but the behind the scenes part of this story is that while preparing for this interview we wanted to make sure that the focus was more so on how we can solve the issue rather than dwelling on everything that's wrong with it. That's the kind of spirit that Jacqueline brought to the interview. And I think one thing that's interesting is that Jacqueline's actually a graduating senior. Some may think, you know, you're spending your last weeks on this. Um, but this is something she's passionate about. One thing that wasn't mentioned in the interview was that Jacqueline is interning for Nancy Pelosi's um, team. And so this is something she's really taken to heart and is really living by. This is not something that she's going to forget when she leaves UC Berkeley. Another inter interesting thing that came out of the interview was that she's actually a sociology major. And so one of the things she mentioned to me, which I wasn't really able to expand on due to time constraints in the interview, was her desire to include data in addressing these issues. And so she mentioned doing quantitative, qualitative surveys with those in the Greek system specifically at UC Berkeley, to bring more perspective to the issue. And so that's what we covered with Jacqueline. Do you think, I mean, did she mention um, leaving her legacy behind with the former, with the current VP of Community Development? Yeah, that's a great question. And that's something actually we covered off camera while we were setting up. Uh, I want to just mention Laylee was our cinematographer for that. So thanks, Laylee. Um, yes, she did. And, you know, this is an ongoing conversation. Um, in addition to wanting to bring the work outside of UC Berkeley, she wants to make sure that the conversation she started um, continues. And again, this all stemmed from the controversial short presentation that um, she was a part of during one of the orientations that, you know, seemed to trivialize the issue of diversity and how how to um, address inequalities within the, within the system. And so, um, uh, at least from my interview and on a personal level, speaking to her before and after. It was definitely something I feel that is going to is, is is an important starting point. Great to hear. Um, so also, Laylee and Michelle, you guys recently um, were covering ASUC elections. Laylee, I know that you spoke. Um, you actually interviewed Alex and um, Melanie after their wins. So and, and Michelle, you were interviewing students in Poly Ballroom right after the results were released. So both of you were there kind of in the prime time of action. Um, how did it feel being there for the results and how what was the energy like in the room so lately and i are both freshmen so we've never actually experienced a college university election so it was actually pretty surprising for me to see how passionate and how emotional some students actually were um, some people were crying um, of happy tears or sad tears but overall it was a really amazing experience to be there firsthand yeah, um, and it was great to see how the atmosphere in Poly was before the results were announced and then after. Um, before, the energy was quite tense. Everyone was pretty nervous, but after, there was a lot of crying, a lot of cheering. Um, and it was really great that we were able to interview Alex and Melanie about five minutes after they found out that they won because I really felt that their reactions were just raw emotions and they were super excited for their positions. So I'm excited to see um, where their um, term goes. Um, 
So, Michelle, you also produced a video recently um, covering dating apps on campus. So tell me a little bit, like, why did you decide to do this video? And, um, you know, did it make you realize anything about Tinder or those dating apps? So, again, I'm a freshman. So in high school, a lot of people didn't use Tinder. So I was pretty surprised to see how many of my friends and um, just how often and how normal it was to use Tinder in college. So something I learned through making this video was that 84% of college students on average in America use Tinder. And that was very surprising for me. I had no idea that it was like a normal thing. I thought only weird people use dating apps or something like that. But um, honestly, interviewing students, um, they had a lot of funny um, experiences. Some actually found relationships and it wasn't a weird thing to find a relationship on a dating app. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you use Tinder? No, I'm sorry. That's a um, <laughs> Definitely. Um, okay, well, we're going to wrap things up. Thank you guys so much for being with us today, and thank you for watching Offscript.